Undermine is finally out of early access and the 1.0 release is now available on Steam, Windows Store, Xbox, and is included in Game Pass. The game will be coming to Nintendo Switch sometime in 2021, and honestly, I think it's an excellent fit for handhelds. Undermine is easily one of my favorite new roguelites to hit consoles. When you first start, the Archmage will call you into his room. He will task you with finding the source of the strange earthquakes and the missing blacksmith. Into the tutorial floor you go. Here you'll learn the basic mechanics, jump, attack, range attack, and bomb. And hey, while you're on the tutorial floor, take one of the bombs and head back to the start. Bomb the northern wall here for an achievement and some thorium, one of the game's currencies. After you play this tutorial floor once, each of the floors from here on out will now be randomly generated. The deeper you go, the more difficult the monsters and traps will get, but the higher your rewards. Along the way, you will be mining for gold, which is one of the main forms of currency. Don't leave the gold on the floor for too long or pilfers will come out of the woodwork and try to escape with it. You'll find lots of cool items which will give you stat boosts or have some sort of effect. Some examples would be there's like a keyblade that increases your attack damage by the number of keys you're holding. Or the fork that splits your ranged attack into a spread shot. Or a meal ticket that gets you free food at shops. These items only last for your current run through the dungeon until you die. What you will keep is all of your equipment upgrades, your thorium, artifacts, and some of your gold. After you rescue the blacksmith, you'll be able to upgrade your equipment with some of the gold that you bring back. Your equipment upgrades will affect all future playthroughs. You can even upgrade your gold carrying sack so that you won't drop so much on death. As you make it further in the game, you'll rescue more and more people, which will slowly unlock access to new things in the game. This ensures that you don't feel too overwhelmed in the beginning, and it'll give you a sense of accomplishment as you gain access to more and more of the game. If you're new to roguelites, this may seem off-putting at first to keep only some things and lose others, but it's all part of a perfect balance to keep the game fun for as long as possible. At the start, you'll also have a canary acting as your familiar. He will pick up gold lying around the dungeon floor for you, but eventually you'll unlock more familiars that have different abilities and you'll be able to select which one you want to bring with you. There are tons of secret areas, hidden passages, unique characters, and cool items to discover while playing this game. This will keep things fresh for a very long time. One really nice feature in this game is the built-in journal. It will automatically get filled out as you discover new enemies, items, familiars, and artifacts in the game. Then you'll be able to reference it at any point. As you might expect, there are bosses and mini-bosses at milestones throughout the dungeon. Eventually, you'll find maps which will allow you to fast travel to deeper depths of the dungeon which actually works pretty well. There was one mini boss I kept dying on, but I was able to get back to him quickly with fast travel. It only took the perfect synergy of random pickups to give me the extra power that I needed. I had fork, which splits my ranged attack into three. On top of that, I had phantasmal axe, which duplicates my ranged attack when it hits something. So I had pickaxes flying all over the place, dealing damage each time I used my ranged attack. Aside from gold, the other currency in this game is thorium. Thorium is used to craft potions, relics, blessings, and hatch familiars from the main hub before your descent. Anyway, I'm really addicted to the game right now. This game can keep you busy for a very long time. I just keep coming back to it for one more game, one more game. Also, there's this whole other game mode you can unlock eventually by completing the campaign called Other Mine. 
which has a different type of roguelite mechanic. Highly recommend this game. If you're interested in seeing more gameplay of this or Neon Abyss, which is another roguelite that I was showing you guys recently, check out Retromation on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below as well. He has some long format gameplay of this and other roguelites. Anyway, I'm already itching to get back to playing this game. Check it out. Again, Undermine is available on Xbox, PC, Game Pass, and it'll be coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.